Hey y'all, welcome to Charger Chat for the first week of October. I'm Wesley Butler, and today our top story may change the way you think about second breakfast. We also have some Netflix reviews for you, sports, fashion, and even a story on Burger King. Tune in for more. I'm Wesley Butler. Hello, I'm Alex Bushy, and I'm here with the story of the day. Does second breakfast deserve first block? Now, I think second breakfast is one of the dumbest ideas the school's ever done. It completely disrupts first block. It's made for people that get here late, but the majority of the people that use it are the people that, I don't know, have been walking around for about 15 minutes, doing absolutely nothing, and that's a problem. See, teachers are here to teach, not the wait for people to come in, give people food in the middle of their class. It's time to bring the pain. A new Call of Duty Modern Warfare trailer has arrived, and it's not kidding around. Set to the tune of Metallica's Enter Sandman, the trailer features a glimpse of gameplay from the upcoming first-person shooter, and things are going to get very chaotic very quickly. Featuring a beautiful engine that runs the game at 60 frames per second, Modern Warfare introduces several crazy action scenarios where you'll need to react, to stay alive. It also provides a hint of the story in which Captain Price and company find themselves on a nearly impossible mission. Who it is against has yet to be seen, but they have their hands full. Are you up for the challenge? Since the rise of e-cigarettes in 2015, the FDA have been coming up trying to come up with a way to ban them. In the past two years, an e-cigarette called Juul has taken the U.S. and social media by storm. Because of so much popularity on social media, uh, there has been more teen vaping than ever. From the year 2016 to 2017, Juul had a 641% sale increase. Most of the chemicals in vape juices are untested to humans, so we really are just putting chemicals in our body without knowing what will happen. The main addictive ingredient in e-cigarettes is nicotine. The way Juul and other e-cigs give you a buzz is the oxygen flow caught off to your brain so you get lightheaded and this can cause your brain to bleed. This is where the FDA and Trump come in because we have no idea if this will cause serious cancer for the future. Thoughts or opinions on team vaping? Let me know. Star receiver Antonio Brown was released from the New England Patriots after he was accused of three sexual assault charges. Uh, the woman had, came for, well, had come forward with allegations of sexual misconduct against Brown. His former trainer, Brittany Taylor, did a civil suit in South Florida federal court over allegations of sexual assault. One morning, Brown tweeted that he was not participating in the NFL anymore because he didn't like how the owners could cut out your contract whether they felt like it. There's talk that Antonio Brown might go play for the Dallas Cowboys soon. However, I feel that the change will turn out as a good outcome for Brown. A Jersey City sneaker store, Sneaker Room, has teamed up with Nike to raise funds for breast cancer awareness. The duo released three limited edition versions of Nike's React Element 87, one sporting a Swarovski crystal covered swoosh. All three shoes will be available for purchase at Sneaker Room in Jersey City. The pink pair will retail for $250, the white pair retailed for $500, and the black pair retailed for $1,000. All of the proceeds were donated to the Jersey City Medical Center. The shoes came out on September 28th and sold out within hours. They are now selling for double the price. With only 63 pairs released, many hype beasts went crazy over the shoe. Hello Chargers, I'm Ethan Marshall and I'm here to announce a new attempt to bring a creative writing club to life here in our school this upcoming November. This team will be led by Lily Herbert and me who will arrange meeting times, places we will be able to meet, writing events, character design, concepts, story teams, and much more. We are looking to present a story of the week once every week or two if the group takes off, motivating our writers and possible newcomers to keep developing stories and improve their skills for future projects. We hope to form a safe community where ideas can be shared and improved upon with the help of other dedicated writers who dream of one day having the whole world seeing their work and possible publications in the future. If I had a good example of a post-apocalyptic book, I would say Metro 2033. And to sum up the book, you follow protagonist Artyom in the metro systems of destroyed Moscow as he discovers the horrors that nuclear war creates. He ventures off from home to find a way to destroy an enemy that seems unstoppable. It both threatens his home station and humanity itself. That's why when I heard about the movie adaptation that is in development, I was beyond excited. But recently, there has been no recent news. Some people think the idea was dropped, but some others still think that the movie is still in development. There hasn't been a recent 
release date or any developments as far as we know in the states. From our big t team of e investigators that do exist and is not just an underpaid intern, we have not found any recent Russian articles writing about the mo movie, but if this movie does not come out, you can get the translated book on it at Amazon. This has the potential to be something unique and a sign that adaptations can be done right, but we d won't really know until the movie comes out. And the release date isn't concrete, but we can expect it to come out uh, January 21st, 2021. Hi, I'm Grace Luna, and today I'm going to be talking about Two Sentence Horror Stories. It's a new series on Netflix, and they give you two different sentences. First, they give you a sentence before even the plot even starts, before anything even starts. And then at the end, they give you the second part of the sentence. Everything is related to the story itself. I think most of the episodes are really good, except for episode seven, I believe. There was this kid that was possessed by a ghost. He blamed everything on his grandma. Everything bad that happened, it was his grandma's fault. His parents believed him and they kicked her out of the house. Many events happened during that particular time and they, they just didn't like the grandma anymore because of the, of the little boy. At the end, spoiler, the grandma dies because the boy kills her. There was this other episode that starts as a simple makeup tutorial that you would find on YouTube. There was this crazy girl running around the house chasing a guy with trying to kill the guy. At the end, she just goes go back, she goes back and acts like nothing happened. And I think it was crazy, but it was also really related to the life that we live now, that any, anybody could be doing anything behind scenes and then post a video on YouTube. What do you think about two sentence horror stories? If you would like me to review another show, just let me know and I will do it. Hi, my name is Jacob Wynn and I want to talk to you about vaping. Much of today's society is hooked on e-cigarette products like Juul, Smoke, and other products of this ethnicity. Many teenagers and unnamed classmates of my age smoke these products on a daily basis without realizing and open their option to do and use worse drugs. Nicotine messes with their brains and decision-making process. I will admit I used to do it as well, daily on rides to practice, but later got caught and even almost kicked off my swim team. After about two to three weeks of stopping, the effects were out of my body and I realized, wow, this is really hurting my body and how I perform. Reason being, it made me feel very slow and sluggish in the water and it made me have the, I don't want to do anything, I don't care kind of attitude. I guarantee you a good 65% of the kids that act like this probably vape daily. Recently, deaths have appeared, in fact, even one in Virginia. Many vapes are purchased on the low or off the black market, which you have no clue what has been done to them. They're not FDA approved and this can further increase the danger. Vaping is more suitable for the people that have always smoked cigarettes, trying to quit, and they need an alternative. But it's getting teens addicted almost immediately. For example, in 2018, approximately 4.9 million middle and high schoolers became addicted. A proportional statistic, about 1 in 25 students are addicted. My final statement, don't start and you will not have to stop. Hello, I'm Kenda Walker. Today I will be discussing homeschool versus public school education. As a parent, you have a bunch of decisions to make for your children. One of them is what kind of education you're willing to give them, homeschooling or public school education. Some upsides to homeschooling are having complete control of your curriculum and also flexibility over your schedule in public schools. Disadvantages to homeschooling are the children are more likely to have lower social skills. Personally, a big one for me is no sports or clubs. If 
you are lucky you'll live in a big city where there may be some homeschooling sports, but most kids don't have that opportunity. Another type of education is public school education. Now, before you go send your kids off to public school, please do your local research on your, on your public school. It will help your decision. Some good things about public school is sports and extracurricular activities. Your child will have so many opportunities in public environment. What is your opinion on this topic? Let me know. Hi, I'm Dylan Smith, and I want to talk about fast food, mainly in particular Burger King. If you haven't heard the latest, Burger King is now selling tacos. You might be thinking of what is in, is in taco, like all tacos, it's the same thing, which is it's more of a snack than a meal. You can go down to Burger King and get it for a buck. And unsurprisingly, it came out on Taco Tuesday. Now you must be thinking, why would they sell tacos? It's not only for marketing purposes, but it's also trying to bring new things. You also must be thinking if it will affect Burger King in any way, and it could in a positive or negative way of selling the product. Why would it, why would it work, and what do you think? How long will they be selling it? It brings something new to the establishment. Not everyone would want to just eat burgers all the time. When you add other products, there's more diversity in what you can choose. Personally, I think it's a good idea to release the taco. Not only does it bring diver diversity of what you can choose, but it's also good for marketing. I do personally think that the Burger King taco will be out for many years until they have something to replace it. Hi, I'm Zach and I want to talk to you about the upcoming shoe release of the Easy Boost V2 Yeshios. The Easy Boost Yeshios will be releasing December of 2019. They will have a unique multicolor on this shoe. The Yeshios will have a black base supported by red knitting along with dashes of blue and a greenish yellow. It's said that they will be releasing December 15th of this year, but Adidas hasn't made it, it official yet. There will also be a few other pairs releasing around this fall. Want me to review another shoe? Stop me in the hallway and let me know.